Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential logarithmic and polynomial equation. So it's kind of like a mixture of different things. We have 10 to the power log x, which is base 10, equals x squared divided by 100. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods, but also at the end, I'm going to talk about a third possible approach. So let's start with the first one. We're going to do the following, and this should be straightforward for most log problems or most exponential equations where the variable is in the exponent or the exponent is a variable. We're going to go ahead and log both sides. So let's go ahead and log both sides and like this and like that. And then what's going to happen on the left hand side, we have an exponent. So we can go ahead and move it to the front. That's what's cool about logging something um, that has an exponent because it's just going to bring it down. So it's going to give us log x times log 10 equals. Now on the right hand side we have the log of a quotient. So we can write it as the difference of two logs. Log x squared minus log 100. Okay. So couple things we can do here to simplify. Log 10, for, first of all, it's base 10, so we can think of log 10 as log 10 with base 10, which is equal to 1 by using properties of logs or the definition. Think about it, 10 to the power 1 equals 10, right? That's how we check logs. So that's 1, and log 100 is log 10 squared, and now t 2 can be moved like before, and this becomes 2 times log 10, and log 10 is 1, so this is 2. Or, if you think about it in base 10, the question is, if trying to answer, uh, you know, simplify something like this, 10 to the power what number equals 100? And the answer is 2, right? Because 10 squared is 100, so this is 2. So we get something nice, log x times 1 is log x. And then here, using the prop power property again, that becomes 2 times log x and minus 2. Easy, right? Put the log x's on the same side. You get log x and put the negative 2 on the left-hand side. And put it on the right-hand side, switch them around, and you get log x equals 2. This doesn't give you the value of x, but we can find x from here. How? We can use the definition, right? And if you use the definition, the base is 10, remember? It's 10 to the second power, so x becomes 100. Remember, we just talked about it, right? We said that log 100 equals 2 because 10, 100 is 10 to the second power. All right, great. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method. The second method might be a little easier if you are familiar with exponents. So, let's rewrite the original problem. 10 to the power log x equals x squared divided by 100. And now uh, we're going to use substitution. Substitution is helpful. So let's go ahead and call this y. And that means log x equals y. And by using the definition of logs again, base 10, 10 to the power y equals x. 10 to the power y equals x. This is 10, okay? So we can replace x with 10 to the power y and log x with y. So let's go ahead and do it. From here we get 10 to the power y equals x squared. And this is x. So we're going to replace x with 10 to the power y squared. And notice that we got the same thing on both sides. Even though they were written differently, they kind of mean the same thing, divided by 100. And then from here, it's just a matter of, you know, cross-multiplying, simplifying, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and multiply these exponents. That gives us 10 to the power 2y. And multiply these together, 100 times 10 to the power y. Obviously, it's tempting to divide both sides by 10 to the power y at this point. And 10 to the power y cannot equal 0, so that's okay to 2. Uh, so let's do it. 
divide by 10 to the y. And from here, subtracting exponent gives us 10 to the power y equals 100 and y equals 2. But y is not the answer, x is the answer. Why? Because y equals log x, right? So let's replace y with log x, back substitute. And from here, as before, this is base 10, we get x equals 100, All right? That will be the answer. So let's talk about the third approach. The third approach actually uses a well-known identity, if you're familiar with logs, 10 to the power log x is equal to x because a to the power log x with base a is always x. And in this case, the base is 10. So therefore, it immediately simplifies, giving us x squared over 100 equals x. And then from here, we get x equals 100. We also get x equals 0, but that's not a valid solution because log x is not defined for x equals 0. Therefore, the only solution is x equals 100. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.